Rax SA280 size 4. We're going to throw down some olive flat wax 210. Just before the bend of the hook. To start these minnows, I want to use a, just a pinch, tiny, tiny, tiny amount of some of this bucktail and SF fiber. Keeps the fly, in my opinion, from collapsing, gives a little volume. Use it like a little darty action in the water. Just a pinch. Really sparse. This SF is a little crazy, but we're gonna just tie it down. Try to keep it from going around the hook. There we go. Spread it around and try to just fold it back on itself. And just try to push it down underneath that main piece because the bottom of this fly is going to be white. So you want this fiber to kind of sit on the bottom half of that long piece so the taper comes up from the belly. And just secure it down. That's pretty much what you want there. <clears throat> Next we roll with some olive Congo hair. You can also use EP fibers or any other kind of more dense fiber. You don't want to use uh, like craft or anything. You need something a little more dense because uh, this is going to be the buildup of the body and the head. It, I'm just going to taper it up a little bit. Just going to lay it right on top. Now, this time you don't want to fold it underneath, you want to fold it back on top because you're going to have olive on top and white on bottom, just like a bait fish. Spread around by putting your finger down on the top, getting the fibers around on both sides, but not on the bottom. Just keep it all on top of the hook. Secure that down. Pull all the loose fibers out, and then we're just gonna add some belly material. In this case, we're gonna be using white EP style fibers, or in this case, it's Congo. You want to do this part really sparse. Almost, I think this is almost too much. So I'm just going to take a little bit out. There you go. This fly is meant to be a very small profile bait fish. Yes, you can trim it, but you, if it's too dense around the hook, because this is a, you use a smaller hook, it's just not going to swim right and it won't sink at all. All the fibers will trap air in it and it won't allow it to get down. So you're doing the same thing you did on the top, but you're just spinning around the bottom. If you don't have a rotary vise, you can simply just push it down and pull it back as so. Just tie it down. All right, we're almost done. We're going to use a tiny bit more for top and bottom. Some olive.
some olive and some white. Don't use a lot here. Um, it's okay if it's a little more dense for this last piece, but you still want to keep it very sparse. All right, this is just going to be basically the shape of the head. So we can trim it back, but you're going to want to keep it pretty reasonable. As you can see, this is too long, but I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to just kind of cut it to fit the head of the fly. Just want to do a couple quick wraps, nothing crazy. See this exposed thread here. You can solve that just by kind of pushing it around with your thumb, pulling this back. And then the same with the top piece. Lay it down. Spreading the fibers out. Get a couple tight wraps and then these go back. Olive go back up top, white go back below. Kind of see the pattern for this particular one. A little more fibers than I want on there, but that's okay. Hold it back tight and just tie it right in front. It's okay if you go a little bit on the fiber too, as so. Because what we're going to do is we're, we're going to need a place to put the eyes. Whip finish. So we can try to get some loose hairs out because we're going to glue some eyes on. Need some ultra gel and some five millimeter eyes. So, the important thing with the eyes is I like to put them closer to the middle of the hook, an equal distance on both sides from the front of the threads. So. Turn it on its side. See a little dot right there. There's no magical way to do this. Just try to do it without getting glue on your finger and pulling the eye off. Just apply a little bit of pressure just for a few seconds. All right, flip that. Fly onto the other side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Try to keep the equal distance. Keeps the eyes even, make sure the fly swims straight. Just using my scissors just to keep the glue from sticking to my fingers and pulling off the eyes. Nice and even on both sides, just the way you want it. We got two quick steps and this fly is gonna be done. First thing I wanna do, just take a little bit of this product off. We'll start just by going straight off the top. Yeah, it's a good cut. Same on the bottom, but in this case, I'm actually just going to take it out of the vise and just try to get to the tail here. It's a little crazy.
putting a quick trim on it will help it when you are going to resin in the eyes. Right now I'm just letting it dry. I don't ever want to resin over the eyes while the glue is drying. If the glue is drying, um, I don't feel like the resin will fully set the eyes and they'll eventually just come off anyways. That's the look we're going for. By then, your resin, sorry, your glue should be dried enough to where we can just kind of resin over. This one, I'm using the NoTac by Simplify. I'm just gonna drop resin right in front of the eyes, is the way I like to start them on both sides, and then drag it across and around. Try to get all the air out, but just really trying to get a little resin work in there by covering the eyes first. And then the threads. And that's it. Don't want a lot. Hopefully you have a rotary vise. I think it makes the job a lot easier because you can just kind of spin the resin, let it move around, coat the materials. I'll pull on the materials to try to get all the air out from being trapped from under the fibers. Now before everything sets is the time you want to kind of make sure everything's looking decent. If you miss any spots you'll see it. I missed a spot right there. I'm going to spin it pretty slowly just to get all the resin to move around in an even look so it's not weighted on one side or the other. This will keep the eyes on there no matter what kind of fish hit it with teeth or anything like that. Just hit it with your UV torch. Just need about 10 seconds on it. <laughs> 